Cost-Effective Analysis, or CEA. CEAs are the most common type of economic evaluation used in healthcare. CEAs can be applied at any stage of a program, before it begins, during it, or after it's over. CEAs are typically used when an expansion is being planned and or when management changes are to occur. For instance, you might have a clinic that specializes in diabetes treatment and they are approved to expand to another location, but only want to implement the most effective diabetes treatment program at the new center. Or management and staffing are to be reduced and only one program will be kept. A CEA will help with these decisions. CEAs have the benefit of not relying on cost alone. The numerical outcome of the CEA is a cost effectiveness ratio or CE ratio. In this ratio, the numerator is the cost associated and the denominator is the units of effectiveness. You would calculate and then compare the CE ratios of different alternatives to see which is preferable. You can visualize CE ratios on a plane with four quadrants, with the y-axis being incremental cost and the x-axis being incremental effectiveness. Preferred programs will fall into the bottom right quadrant, but most programs will fall into the bottom left and top right quadrant. CEAs are best when comparing programs of similar size. For instance, if you're looking at a diabetes program that serves one community and the other program that you're looking at serves the whole state, a CEA between these two will be less likely to produce reliable results. Now let's talk a bit more about the numerical outcomes of CEAs. We will call them the SERPs. There are three of them. The ACER, the MERSER, and the ICER. The ACER is the average cost effectiveness ratio, and this refers to the average cost of the intervention program versus the baseline program. So, it would be the net cost of the intervention program divided by the number of health outcomes. The MERSER is the marginal cost of effectiveness ratio, and this refers to the specific changes in the cost and or effects when you add or take away one unit. For instance, my cost and benefits will change for a diabetes program depending on how many people use the program. If I add some program members, I might have to add some staff members. And if I lower some program members, I might have to cut some staff members. This will result in a specific change when I add and take away program members. And I would want to know that if I were making a decision about expanding or shutting down a program. You can use ACER and MERSER together too. This may make decisions easier. The last SIR is the ICER, or the Incremental Cost Effectiveness Ratio. This is talking about the additional cost per additional health outcome between different programs using the same resources. For instance, the numerator would look at the difference between the total cost of diabetes program A and the total cost of diabetes program B, and the denominator would be the difference in the total health outcomes of diabetes program A and diabetes program B. The use of ICERs help to determine which programs are dominated by others. This, in a nutshell, is the breakdown for cost-effective analysis.